Hey everyone, so today I'll actually be talking about Synodic products because a lot of you in the comments were, you know, as you are being product pushers, because that's the name of her fans, um, and telling me about her backstory, little, little sprinkles, correcting me and saying Snow does not sound like Cardi's the other way around. Let me correct that course and especially because today i'll be going into who snow the project is how she's been that girl for more than a decade and why she's actually the definition of persistence stay to the end because i have two reactions actually i'll only have one reaction because spain gq said no absolutely no so just one two for two reactions in this video one will be her song music sessions number 39 on bzrp's i still have trouble saying that bz raps channel so that song and also i'll be reacting to her video on the latin gq the little essentials she likes to carry let's get to know snow together i'm sure you already know more about her than i do but i did my research i tried all right i tried let's both get to know snow the product so snow also known as Claudia Alexandria Madrid Mesa, is a Mexican-American rapper. She is born in San Jose, and she was raised in San Diego. Um, so her name actually was inspired by the Disney character Snow White and her desire to prevent her musical and personal lives from, you know, blurring into one another. She had said at one point, quote, when I used to dream about making it, I would talk about it with one friend, and we would think it would be something like a fairy tale. We joked about what princesses would be. I had dark hair and white skin, so I became Snow White. And she added that she added the product as a way of like keeping herself grounded that so that rapping doesn't take over her whole life because she's not always rapping and performing. Eventually, Snow had to go from Snow White the product to Snow White I just say it twice. Eventually, she went from Snow White, the product, to Snow, the product. I don't know why that's hard to say. Um, because Disney said, nah, 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 that's our name. Give me my money. Give me. So, Disney was like, no. And she's like, hi, hi, hi. So, she went from Snow White to Snow, the product. But before changing her name to Snow, the product, she went by the by the name Claudia White on the song. I'm gonna try try my best. On the song Algian, it's a 2009 single that she collaborated with Jaime Cohen on, and that song rose to a lot, a lot of popularity in music televisions in Latin America. And so her talents were starting to get, you know, recognized and she was gaining attention. And it was like slowly churning, but that wasn't the moment where she was getting a lot of the eyes. Like, she was getting popularity, but that's not what ultimately took her career skyrocketing. So let's dig back, like, take a step back first. She did gain attention from her freestyle and remix videos online. Um, she actually originally wanted to be a singer, so her dad's like, I bet you're gonna practice performing by coming with me to bars, even though you're underage. Girl, get out on that pool table. Sing your little heart out. Let's do this. Also, come sing with me in, in a mariachi band. You cool? All right, let's go do this. But it wasn't until she moved to San Diego that she found her love for rap. So it originally just started out as kind of like, well, my boyfriend's rapping, and I could do this better than him. So let me let me just get in there real quick. Let me just spit some some. Why is my chin doing that? Let me just spit some verses right now, and that like helped her figure out what she wanted to do, and that also like opened her eyes to like, oh, I really like this. This could be a career. Oh my gosh! So her influences are listed as Missy Elliott, Lauren Hill. Uh, Ludacris, Muda, Johnny Cash, Tech Nine, Selena, um, Amy Winehouse, Andre 3000, Aaliyah, Eminem, and more. She has really good music taste. And to this day, she cites persistence as the reason why she is where she is. For example, in San Diego, nobody wanted her CDs that she was handing out in the streets, but she still kept going. And obviously it paid off. Look at her. Look at her now. Look at her now. So for years, she was an underground artist doing mixed, 
for years she was for years she was an underground artist doing mixtape why can't i words uh, yeah hello college i'd like to re- i'd like to re- yeah no i i know i already graduated yes i got i got my degree could i return it can i get my money back hello so before she started doing mixtapes with the likes of tech nine and ty dollar sign the song that got a lot of people's attention like even labels and freaking 50 cent is her song holy shit uh it was only a verse that was a minute 30 long and she was just ranting and getting things off her chest and everybody ate it up they ate it up sony wanted her universal wanted her atlantic wanted her but ultimately she signed with atlantic the only problem there is they kept trying to put her in a box they're like yeah we we get your whole thing about like being independent and wanting to do your own thing and you rap about you know immigration rights and you know how you don't have to shake your butt in order to get a man's attention and really the world's attention but let's put you in this box we would love to compartmentalize you can we ikea you right now could we put you in a box container store no she wasn't having that so she backed out of that and also she bought herself out of her management deal her interview with the breakfast club actually made her realize she needed to make that change so good for you um what's his name the guy with the bald head something the god champagne charlemagne <laughs> charlemagne charlemagne the god from the breakfast club and the whole crew is what helped her with her career so champagne oops i've gotten a lot a, f- a few, not a lot, a few comments that says, Cardi sounds like Snow, not the other way around. Well, because Snow has been out since, like, I want to say 2011. I have in front of me her discography, and it says her first album, Unorth- Unorthodox, that was 2011. Good good Nights and Bad Mornings in 2013, and Good Nights and Bad Mornings 2 in 2015. Halfway there, the EP, that's 2016. Um, and then To Anywhere 2022, which actually features Lauren from Fifth Harmony. Like, look at her. She's just getting everybody. Everybody. Um, and also Marvel Lucha Libre. And I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm going to click it. And there seems to be a common consensus that at one point, Snow was a ghostwriter for Cardi. Now, I haven't found anywhere, any source that has confirmed this. And even at one point, I found a TikTok of Snow being like, hey, like, my lawyer said I can only tell you of one artist I'm working with. And it, it was a joke video. Like, she's like, nah, like, it wasn't real. And I, it really played me. I thought she was going to say who she's working with. I was like, finally. But no, it was a joke. A joke video. Um, but so a lot of people online are saying that she was a ghostwriter question to people in the comments where is this confirmed because with ghostwriting there tends to be an nda and you're not allowed to say who you ghost wrote for but if that's the case and she really was cardi's ghostwriter it's like i get you're trying to protect your business or whatever but i would be proud to have snow as my my writer not ghost take that word yeet it writer on any of my songs I've already listened to a few of her songs just to get a sense of her rap style and her her whole vibe. And it's like, why am I... <laughs> so there must be something deeper I'm not finding. If you know anything about this, can you whisper it in the comments? Just like, do all lowercase. Nobody will see it. Nobody will see it. Just... Yeah, let me know because I, I couldn't find it. But that is interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, I think I talked to myself into circles about snow. Let me stop talking about it and be about it. Let's just get into music session number 39. Hola, what's happening? No cap in my caption. Hola, what's happening? No cap in 
my caption. Got a little ratty and she texting for the addy. Cause I got a little thing for when a bitch get ratchet. No ratchets, no snow. Soy la mexicana con tremendo flow. Tengo todo el control. Cierra los ojos. Baby, let's go, 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 go. Hola, buenas noches. Yo me llamo Snow por si no me conocen. Yo ya tengo tiempo que le meto, pero con todo respeto ya llegó la hora que llegue con un golpe. Tengo whatever cuando quiero lo que se antoje. Quiero dinero para que los haters se enojen. Soy de San José como los tigres del norte. Traigo tanta feria que la bolsa se me rompe. A ver a qué pudo little rapper at a cloud nine. Make it this record with a free translation. You see me, but your knees be shaking. Swan on the throne and the seat. Do you ever like I'm gonna get him. I'm, I'm gonna get it. That works. You know how, like, when you see a very adorable puppy or, like, a cute baby or, like, somebody gives a great speech at the Grammys that brings you to tears, but, like, happy tears and inspirational tears, and you're like, what is life? Tears. That's what I just felt. I was flushed with emotion i have that i have emotions um i'm flabbergasted i don't uh, that's my reaction just a compilation of sounds because i'm i'm amazed and upset i'm upset i didn't know about it sooner i'm upset that she don't play on the radio. I swear, all the radio plays is like freaking Harry Styles and no no shade, but like it's very formulaic. And listening to this on the way back from work would give me the energy I need to like continue with my day. You know what I mean? Like, I wanna hear more her, I wanna hear more Shakira, because Shakira has more than just hips don't lie. She has more than that. I'm getting off track. Anyways. Um, I really enjoyed that freestyle and error code. That's it. I don't, by the way, her makeup is really pretty. Like, I, it's nice. It's very nice. And I really love her style. Not just her rapping, but like her personal fashion style. Um, and she has like great color co coordination, as far as I can tell. Like I, those light, the lighting in his music sessions are always um, very colorful and very party. So it's hard to tell what the true colors of their outfit is. But I really like all that. All that makes Snow the pilot. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if you stuck to the end, thank you, thank you very much. And if you are one of the product pushers, you know, fans of Snow. Thank you for putting me on. I will continue to react to her music as well as the other artists that are on my list. If you have any reaction reactions, if you have any recommendations that I have not reacted to yet, please let me know in the comments section. And also, like I said, if you know for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, like have a source and everything that Snow is Cardi's or was Cardi's ghostwriter, let me know. Let me know. And also, what's the source? You know, because we got to be credible in these streets. 
Um, I hope you liked this video. Like this video if you did. Subscribe for more music reactions, entertainment, food, makeup, all the things, whatever I feel like, really. And as usual, stay curious, my friends.